I'm Jonathan Lowe. I was the producer and engineer for the Ava Luna Shaking Through Session. Well, the mix for Water Ducks, it's really cool how everything just plays together. There's a, just a lot of interesting texture, a lot of interesting sounds. Throughout the entire song, there's just so much to listen to. The sound quality of everything is, is pretty remarkable. Everything just kind of plays off each other in a, in a really good way. I hate saying this, but it's like, you know, it's for, it's for the, the guys with the headphones. Typically, I would like to have a band set up live in a room and just play through a song, kind of get them acclimated to the studio, and it's a good opportunity for me to, to hear the song, make any sort of adjustments that we need to do. I just ask them to start from the very beginning and see, like, can you guys just play through the song without stopping? And the answer was no. What? For, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I don't know how long. Man. Especially being the first episode that I was producing, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna totally blow this one. Yeah, okay, right now, we're just getting a feel for the song. So, the initial thing that we're gonna record is probably gonna be, you know, drums, bass, and then like one element that's gonna kind of be the reference point in the song of where everything is. And it was a big thing to take in at the beginning of the day, thinking that these guys had to finish writing a song and I still had to keep pushing it forward in a way that wasn't freaking them out as it was freaking me out that we had to get this done. Hey, why don't you guys take it just from the top, run it through. It can be, you know, as, as raw as it is right now. That's totally fine. So as the day went on, it was kind of more about pulling stuff away, getting things to sound really good, be played really well and having stuff that might be distracting or more difficult not hinder the process of, okay, let's get this rhythm track down. And I think that struggle made it that much better at the end. On this session, we also had some really incredible gear on loan, which included a pair of Samar ribbon microphones that were kind of still, I think, in their prototype stage. Um, the Electronaut M63 2 preamp, and then the Gefell UM75. Starting with drums, we used Samar ribbon microphones as a stereo room mic. They made it on background vocals, on the vibraphone, all the guitars. They just sounded incredible. The mid-range detail is just kind of astounding. The Electronaut was used pretty much on everything. I feel like the Electronaut has very similar characteristics to the Samar. Very harmonically rich, a lot of mid-range detail, especially when there's so many elements that sit in that mid-range. It just sounds complex, it sounds really expensive. <laughs> Did I do some like warm-up or something first? Like, I, don't know. I think this is... I think you sounded really good. I think this is warming you up great. Yeah. Each right, time right. it just sounds right. a little bit bigger, a little bit more open. All right. So on the lead vocal for Carlos, we use the Gefell UM75, which is an anniversary edition of the Gefell 57. It's a large diaphragm tube condenser mic, and I've used this mic before, and I think it sounds super detailed, super, super rich. It's not hyped in the high end. It doesn't have a super huge proximity effect. It's all about super rich mid-range. Paint above the colored canopy on the center spot of the 17 with the water duct running underneath where I spoke for you, where I spoke for you, where I spoke for you. I think it was the very last thing that we did on this track was, was the backing vocals. And I had Felicia and Becca set up kind of staggered both on their each Samar ribbon microphone. Very little compression on the way in, no EQ, and it sounded awesome. It was, it was a little bit more of a covered sound compared to like a large diaphragm condenser, but it sounded really great. It was pretty major that the song just wasn't completed in a project where we need to complete it in a day. Because that's not budgeted into our normal schedule, but to throw in the added challenge of writing 
a really, really large chunk of this song, it freaks me out. But I think that just made the end result that much better because we, we all pulled it off. We were all able to get an amazing song, an amazing recording, and just a really good day of achievement and, and progress.